What's going on everybody? Getting out here. Beautiful day out today. A little bit chilly, but we're with Chloe. Her first mountain day of the year. Couldn't have a nicer day besides a little bit of cold. I took her out last year for a few days of mountain riding, but I'm a really bad teacher. I know that. And I think I was jumping way too far into things and kind of forgetting that when you're taking somebody out for their first mountain experience, you really just have to start with the basics. You know, Chloe has some snowmobiling experience, but trail riding is completely different to mountain riding. So we're just gonna go up there today and we're gonna basically work on the basics and getting her confidence up in the Alpine. First thing we had to do here is change around the finger throttle from the front. We just whipped it around the back and that's thumb throttle. Didn't need to change too much for her in one day. Wow, I have a really cold draft down near my garage. That is new. Last night I was talking like we should get an early start today, but I think it's already about noon. Yeah, 11.58 now and we're just getting started. Got the drone up in there, it's just flying through the trees here. It's pretty cool to watch. But we're just heading up to the Boulder cabin here. Probably warm up there and then go up into the Alpine and maybe head back if the snow is good. <laughs> That's so weird. Just hanging out right in front of me. I'm excited to jump off trail in the fresh pal and see what it's like. I've been told full reset up here. That's for sure. What a beautiful day up here. Now we just gotta find some fresh pile. She looks so friggin' small on that thing. What? I don't like the hills. You don't like the hills? The hills are the fun part. The flat stuff's boring. They're not that steep. They're just intimidating. Okay, go up and then up that way. So if you head up this way, it's gonna push you down. So you wanna more go up that way and then turn. <laughs> no, you're not gonna get stuck. Turn back down and go back down and try again. Yeah, get on this side of the snowmobile. And now just turn downhill. Just like this, Chloe. So I know this stuff isn't, you know, the most exciting to watch, but if you're a new mountain rider, say, watching these videos and you want to come out and snowmobile in the mountains and maybe you don't even have much snowmobile experience at all, this is kind of how it's going to start for you. Okay, loop back down and try again. I'm just gonna kind of let Chloe take me at her pace this year because 
I kind of tried to take her at a pace that I thought would be good last year, but it was just too much. And then I think she kind of lost her confidence. Get on that side of the snowmobile. Turn and go up. And then get neutral again after you're going straight up. <laughs> on the throttle. Good. Go ahead. Yeah. Chloe. <laughs> Maybe we'll just go plant some meadow stuff down here. We found some untracked snow. Okay. Oh, whoa, you can't sit down. I want you to just basically just go straight up through all this nice pile here. I feel like I'm gonna get stuck. No, you're not gonna get stuck. I'm gonna go up there. Yeah, just go up there anywhere and come back. Just get comfortable on the snowmobile. So right now the terrain is kind of dictating where Chloe goes. Like, yeah, she's pointing in her direction, but ultimately it's still the terrain. So once she gets a little more confident with this, maybe we'll work at uh, a little bit of carving and getting the snowmobile on edge, which we did a lot of last year. Let's try and get right up to the top from here. <laughs> oh, that sun is beautiful. It's pretty cold up here. I think it's around minus 16, but with that sun, it's not bad at all. Do you think you could save it from here? Pretend this is a situation where you have to go uphill. You can't go downhill. Turn the skis downhill a bit. Okay, why don't you give it a shot of gas? while you pull the snowmobile over. So go kind of wrong foot forward. Now give it a shot of gas while you pull it over at the same time. You got, you got to hang your leg off the side. <laughs> if you held on, you would have been fine. <laughs> Throttle and lean over at the same time. So yeah, you're. I know you're very strong. You beat me up all the time. <laughs> you want me to show you? Yeah, <laughs> So then we'll just get the snowmobile back uphill. So we'll keep it on edge. Keep our wrong foot forward. We'll walk our way up here. So we kind of just walk the snowmobile up. And now it's pointing straight up the hill again. So we can get neutral back on the snowmobile. No, just go to more to the left as you go up the hill. So it doesn't push you to the right. So start here and kind of turn up towards those trees so you're straighter on the hill. And keep on the throttle so then it doesn't push you off one way or the other. Chloe's thinking too much. She says, what if I get halfway and I can't make it? So what? You just go back down. Give her. Get on the throttle. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, now what? You gotta roll it over. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Oh, wow. Pull this ski tip, it'll roll really easy. Go back down to this plateau, turn around and come back up. <laughs> Should have went farther into the plateau to turn around. You didn't give yourself enough room because now you're back uphill again. I want you to go full throttle. What? Yeah. It might, you might end up going off that way, but okay. learn how to use the throttle to, to get yourself out of the situation. No, you're gonna hold on. You're not gonna fall off. All right, give her. Pin it to win it. Keep going. <laughs> keep going, Chloe. Keep going. <laughs> when you're going to turn downhill, you can't stop. You have to keep it going in one swift movement, or else you'll fall over. So if you start to turn downhill. Just keep turning down Ellen and keep the uphill side weighted and you'll be fine. Are you telling me it's break time? Yeah. Once you get up to the top of this hill, you can have a break time. So I want you to use this hill to your advantage to turn yourself around. So I want you to go up part way on this side on the left side here, then turn out to the right side and it should put you back into where you are approximately right here and then just keep going up the hill. I don't care if you don't make it. <laughs> I just want to get to the top of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> this is snowmobiling, dear. Just throttle it and turn right from there. You'll be fine. Water. I said I wanted a break. Once you get I need a break, I need a break. <laughs> Once you get to the top of the hill. Okay, let's go. That's good. Now this hill and we're good. <laughs> Come on, more throttle! <laughs> Back down and have lunch! Get some pizza cooking up here. Do some wheelies to warm it up. It's a little, a little chilly out. I look like Santa Claus, a little miniature one. Chloe, what is this green stuff on my pizza? Arugula. I don't know what to do with that. Eat it, it's good for you. I don't know. I sacrificed my nice pizza for Chloe and I took the one where everything stuck to the tinfoil here. Don't want Chloe to be hangry. No. You know what happens when that happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing happens. She's she's a sweetheart all the time. So I think we'll head to some lakes back here. Just some flat area where Chloe can practice a little bit of carving.
Unfortunately, the lakes were more tracked up than what I was expecting and Chloe's getting tired anyway, so we're gonna head back to the cabin here and warm up and then head back down. It's getting close to that time of day. Do you wanna go in and warm up? Well, Chloe was a good sport out there today, even if at times it didn't look like she was. She was having fun. Uh, you know, it is frustrating learning to mountain ride. And then on top of that, I probably make it look a lot easier than it is for her. And on top of that, you know, I'm making a YouTube video. So, you know, I, I don't think I'd like somebody making a, a YouTube video of me learning to ride. So good to her for, uh, you know, being up for it. But I'm hoping to get out with another female later in the week. I think it'd be good for her to have another female to kind of talk to that understands um, cause you know, I don't understand the same way she would. So I think that'll be good. And that should be on Friday. And I'm not sure what we're going to get up to the next two days, but it probably won't be too much snowmobiling. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.